the day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Los Angeles Angels vs New York Yankees. Our team pick is. New York Yankees for the win. And here is why. It's gut check time for the Angels. After getting off to a great start this season, Los Angeles is now on a six-game losing streak, with five losses coming at home. The skid began with a loss to Texas, and then the Angels were swept by the Toronto Blue Jays in four games, dropping the last three games by just one run. After being off Monday, LA quickly fell behind 5-0 in the second inning and never was competitive. The New York Yankees have the best record in MLB and lead the AL East by 5.5 games. They improved to 18-7 at home with a win on Tuesday. DJ LeMahieu, Matt Carpenter and Jose Trevino each drove in two runs in the victory. The Yankees pitching staff is third with a 2.91 ERA and first with a 1.08 whip. Nestor Cortez who is 4-1 with a 1.70 ERA will make his ninth start of the season when he faces the Angels. Cortez is 1-0 with a 1.96 ERA in four home games. The Angels will end this losing streak at some point, but I wouldn't bet on it happening Thursday. Los Angeles is catching the worst team they could be facing, given their current struggles. New York has won six of the last seven games started by Nestor Cortez and 11 of their last 14 games against a team with a winning record. The Angles have dropped their last six games against a team with a winning record. Both teams have strong offenses, but I will back the Bronx Bombers with the Yankees' strong starting and bullpen advantage. Our total pick is under 8.5 runs, and here is why. New York will have Nestor Cortez on the mound, who has an ERA of 1.70 and has allowed two runs or fewer in four of the last five starts. The total has finished under in four out of the Yankees' last five and in six of the last seven that the Yankees have played against a team from the American League West. Los Angeles has seen the total finish under in three out of the last five when playing on the road as the underdog. Detroit Tigers vs Minnesota Twins. Our team pick is. Minnesota Twins for the win. And here is why. Minnesota split their doubleheader with the Tigers on the road Tuesday as they look to find a way to come up with a win on getaway day. The Twins entered Wednesday leading the Owl Central by five games over the White Sox as they try to expand their advantage. Against Detroit in Game 1, Max Kepler, 2 runs, 3 RBI, had 3 hits, while Luis Serres, 2 runs, added a pair. Gary Sanchez hit his 6th homer of the season in the victory. Devin Smeltzer, 2-0, earned the win as he threw 6.2 innings, allowing 2 runs on 6 hits with no walks and 4 strikeouts. In the nightcap, the Twins were handcuffed as they mustered only 3 hits and went 0-3 for three with runners in scoring position. Cole Sands, 0-1, took the loss on the mound as he threw four innings, allowing four runs on five hits with four walks and four strikeouts before departing. Detroit headed into the fourth game of the set having taken two of the first three games of this five-game set, so they have a shot at a series win, regardless of what transpires Wednesday. The Tigers entered Wednesday night fourth in the Owl Central, ten games behind the Twins for the top spot in the division race. In Game 1, Detroit got three hits from Spencer Torkelson and a pair from Javier Baez, only to go 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position. Rony Garcia, 0 to 1, took the loss on the mound after allowing six runs on seven hits with one walk and seven strikeouts over five innings of work. In the nightcap, Jonathan Shoup, run, 4 RBI, did the damage at the plate with a pair of hits, including his fifth homer of the season. Joey Wentz threw four scoreless innings, allowing one hit with no walks and four strikeouts, but didn't factor in the decision. Wiley Peralta, 2-0, earned the win in relief with two scoreless innings, allowing no hits with two walks and one strikeout. It's tough to get excited about either pitcher in this contest. Archer has no wins on the year and averages just about 4.1 innings per start. Fido has one win to his credit but is playing on a team that struggles to generate much in the way of offensive production. He pitched well in his last outing, turning in a quality start, only to be saddled with a loss, thanks to the Tigers scoring a single run in the game. 
Minnesota at least has the luxury of having a pretty decent lineup that is capable of posting some crooked numbers on the scoreboard. The Twins may not get much from their starting pitcher, but the bats make up for it and deliver a victory on getaway day. Our total pick is, under 8. And here is why. This pitching matchup doesn't exactly jump off the page, with Archer struggling to stay in games past the fourth inning, and the young Fito still relatively unproven. With that said, the Twins' offense has been in free fall the past two-plus games, failing to generate a single run over 20 consecutive innings. Look for their struggles to continue against a decent Tigers staff that ranks in the top 10 in the league in earned run average. The Tigers have the worst offense in the league, mustering just above 2.8 per contest, so even if they come out on top, don't expect that to drop a lopsided number. Texas Rangers vs Tampa Bay Rays. Our team pick is. Rays for the win. And here is why, after dropping a high-scoring contest to open the set in Texas on Monday, the Rays were victim of a loss in a pitcher's duel the next night, as the offense could not get anything going throughout. Tampa Bay only had three hits, all singles, for the game with just one runner making it into scoring position before being stranded. Ryan Yarbrough took the loss, allowing three runs on six hits over 6.2 innings, striking out three. Yandy Diaz, Francisco May and Taylor Walls each recorded a hit on a very slow night for the offense. The Rangers have battled back to .500 after a 2-9 start, thanks in large part to MLB ERA leader Martin Perez, who turned in yet another outstanding performance on Tuesday to beat the Rays. All of the scoring for the game came in the fourth inning, when Corey Seager hit a solo shot, followed by a two-run homer by Atlas Garcia. Perez threw seven scoreless innings, allowing just three hits while striking out five to earn the win. Joe Barlow also continued his terrific season with a spotless ninth for his ninth save. Garcia had a multi-hit game, while Marcus Emian doubled and walked as he tries to break out of a season-long slump. This has not been a good series for the Rays so far, but Thursday is a great opportunity for the offense to get back on track, given how Hearn has struggled so far. Tampa Bay still has a deep roster even with the injuries, and Kluber was impressive last time out against the loaded Yankees lineup. While not the dominant force he once was, Kluber has still been effective this season with a 94 FIP, as his minuscule walk rate helps him avoid major damage. Between him and a deep bullpen that is 7th in ERA, the Rays will have enough pitching to roll through this matchup against a Texas lineup that still has a lot of holes in the bottom half of the order. Hearn has struggled since transitioning from the bullpen to the rotation last year, as his strikeout rate has dropped significantly, leading to a 143 ERA 131 FIP this season. The Rays still have the better team despite Texas's good run of play lately, and will be able to get to a shaky starting pitcher here. Our total pick is, over 9, and here is why, the Tampa Bay Rays have scored 9 runs in their last 3 games, and 4 or more runs in 7 of their last 11 games. The Rays have won 7 of their last 10 games when scoring 4 or more runs. Randy Arizarena leads the Rays with 48 hits and 21 RBI, while Wander Franco and Manuel Margot have combined for 85 hits and 42 RBI. Corey Kluber gets the ball, and he is 1-2 with a 4.03 ERA and 42 strikeouts this season. Kluber is 5-1 with a 3.38 ERA and 56 strikeouts in his career against the Rangers. The Texas Rangers have scored 15 runs in their last three games, and four or more runs in six of their last eight games. The Rangers have won 10 of their last 11 games when scoring four or more runs. Corey Seager leads the Rangers with 45 hits and 24 RBI, while Nathaniel Lowe and Atlas Garcia have combined for 85 hits and 49 RBI. Taylor Hearn gets the ball, and he is 3-3 with a 5.36 ERA and 38 strikeouts this season. Hearn is 0-1 with a 1.69 ERA and 9 strikeouts in his career against the Rays. Corey Kluber has been shaky as of late, allowing 26 hits and 13 runs in his last 24 innings, and he has a 6.35 ERA on the road this season. Taylor Hearn has a 5.36 ERA on the year and has allowed 9 runs in his last 14.2 innings. The Rays' offense is due for a breakout performance, and the Rangers' offense has been hot as of late. Two struggling pitchers and a quick turnaround. Expect some fireworks. Give me the over. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.